What's up guys? So the video you're about to watch was actually recorded about seven or eight months ago. I just never got the chance to upload it to YouTube. So let's get started. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my little Porsche cave. Uh, in the cave this morning, we've got the Cayman S, the 981 Cayman S that's currently being modified. But in this video, we're gonna be looking at the Macan S. It's a 2015 Porsche Macan S. And in particular, things that you didn't know about the vehicle. Hidden key tricks, hidden functions, hidden features about the vehicle that the dealer just didn't tell you before you bought. Let's do business. So we're gonna start with a couple of key tricks. Um, if you take your key and then you keep pressed down on the unlock button, you'll see that all of the windows come down. And on the reverse of that, if you press the lock button and keep it locked in, all of the windows will come back up. All right, so the second key trick actually relates to the way the car is locked. We've got three different ways to lock the car with the key. Uh, the first way is obviously the normal way, so I'm just gonna unlock it so it's uh, definitely unlocked. The first way, obviously everybody knows, just simply press the lock button, that will obviously lock the car. Okay, I'm gonna unlock that again. The second way to lock the car with the key is by pressing this button twice. So I'm gonna press it, then press it again. And what that does is it locks the car, um, but it disables the alarm. So if you've got kids in the car, or if you've got uh, like dogs in the car that you, you don't wanna sort of be getting out of the car, or you want the, the dog to be able to move around, or the kids to move around in the car while the car is locked, then you use that option. Um, the third way, I'm gonna unlock that, is to one press on the lock button and then keep your finger pressed on the lock button and what that will do is that will fold in the wing mirrors so keep an eye on the wing mirrors while i do this actually so we go lock then hold it in and there you see both of those wing mirrors have folded in okay so for the next one it relates to the interior door handles um, you can set the car up so that the interior door handles don't actually open the car from the inside. So if you've got kids in the car that you, you know will be messing on with door handles, you can make these door handles completely inoperable. Uh, what you need to do is take your key and just pull out the emergency key. Easier said than done. And you'll find a little slot, a little round slot here where you pop the key in and you just toggle it from one side to the other. So one of the options will be will allow the uh, the doors to open with the interior handle the other option will um, disable the interior handle from opening the door and then whatever you, whatever option you've chosen then you just pop the key back inside the fob picture the scene the battery in your key fob has completely died you can't get access to your car how do you get into the vehicle again we go back to this little key here so you need to take out the emergency key which is located within the fob and then what you need to do is pull out the door handle and you should see a little slot right here where you slot that key in you, you turn it you listen for the locked mechanism and then you turn it back to where it came from pull it out put it back in and then the door will open. Now when fueling up the vehicle, do not let the gas cap dangle like that to the diesel cap. There is a tiny little hole here, that slots in there and it stops you from getting mess all over the bodywork of the car. When you're finished, simply lock it and close the door. If you are to unlock the car without opening any of the doors, the car will automatically lock itself again after 30 seconds. I've got my timer here and I'm going to uh, unlock the car right now and then I'm going to put the key on there to show you that I'm not pressing anything and in 30 seconds it will lock itself again. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go, it's locked itself after 30 seconds. Now this might be completely useless to some people, but it might be useful to others. What I'm gonna do is open the balloon and show you how high it actually goes. Now that's absolutely fine, but the local uh, shopping center that I go to has quite low ceilings, and even lower than the ceilings are these beams which run right above some of the car, car parking spaces. So this would cause an issue, this would bash off some of the beams. So what you can do is I'm just gonna shut this, like so. I'll open it again. Hello. There we go. 
and you can stop it at any given point just by pressing the button. So I can stop it there and then I can close it again just by doing that. And on the subject of the boot lid opening and closing, I know you already all know this, but there is a button right there which opens the boot lid. Some people might have missed it, so there you go. There is actually a hidden menu. What you need to do is, on the multifunction screen, we're focusing on this screen here, use your toggle, whether you've got the toggle button here or whether you've got the stalk on the side of the wheel. Uh, you need to go up to the section where it gives you the information on the vehicle and then you need to press into that and then it opens up a secret menu and it gives you more information about the vehicle. So for example, we've got information, we've got messages, we've got no messages on this one. Service interval, so it's going to give us further information about which, uh, when the service is due. And you can go service 1 and service 2. Then you can go into the oil measurement which shows you how much oil is in the vehicle and if it's, uh, if it's okay. Then you've got limits where you can set up sort of like speed limit, bongs and chimes. And then you can do uh, further settings. So you've got your display, date and time, light and visibility, uh, locking, air conditioning. Let's have a look at a few of these. So um, the display just basically shows what you would see on um, in certain areas of this particular screen here. Uh, date and time is self-explanatory. Light and visibility shows you uh, exterior light options. So you can fade them out interior lights you can put them on a certain percentage or after to fade out after so many seconds uh, you can do your rear wiper on automatic or manual and that's the um, the mirrors I believe uh, locking options air conditioning settings steering wheel operation uh, volumes of tones the units used and the language as well and then you can reset everything so that's the hidden menu now you see what happened there to the rev counter it's basically dropped right down and what that is is, is a function called coast mode and what that basically means is that the engine really decides that fuel is no, not currently necessary to keep the engine going or to uh, to drive the vehicle so it drops it into a, a, a mode called uh, coast mode and that basically is like a fuel saving thing so it, it tries to limit the amount of fuel coming in and it uh, ultimately is designed to save fuel and cut emissions so that's all I've got for you for the hidden features and functions. I hope you've been able to maybe use some of these and you'll be able to implement them into your daily driving or your daily life with your Porsche Macan. There are a few more of these hidden features and functions that I found online but I thought didn't really apply to me and my vehicle. I tried them out and they just didn't work and that could be because uh, there are lots of different options for these vehicles. There are different specs depending on how the original owner bought it from the factory. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't include them in this video because I didn't think they applied to my vehicle. But you may well find a list of other hidden features and functions that do apply to your vehicle. Um, and if you do find something, then by all means put something in the comments section below. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you on the next video. Till then, take care of yourselves.